next. New Mexico State football returns to Aggie Memorial Stadium on Saturday, October 15th, when they take on the Idaho Vandals in a tough enough to wear pink game. Come out in your pink to support the Aggies and support breast cancer research. Tickets are just $13. And Melanie, let's take a look now at our El Paso Electric Company electrifying play of the game. And how fitting is it? It's Stephanie Ziegler with a block. All night, she's got seven kills hitting at 227, but she had three solo blocks as well. But I think one of the most important things about Ziegler, she didn't start off that hot in the beginning, but she ends up finishing it off for the Aggies. Big night for Stephanie Ziegler, seven kills, just two hitting errors on 22 swings. She hits 227 tonight, and New Mexico State moves on to 14 and four on the season as they defeat the Lobos. And we're now joined on our post-game show by the victorious coach of the Aggies, Mike Jordan. And coach, we talked about Stephanie Ziegler all night long. Was this the best performance that she has had as an Aggie? She was very good, Kyle. Passed great, played really good D, was consistent offensively. I, I'm, really I'm really impressed with Steph. Steph. She's getting better. So what about the play of the middles tonight? You guys were huge at the net. New Mexico State finishes with 13 blocks and outblocked the Lobos 13 to three. Yeah, you know, we, uh, unfortunately, you know, like us, they've got a couple injuries and and uh, they're, they're pretty easy to figure out in certain rotations, uh, but they've got great players. And we did a good job against their best players. And that's all I can ask from the team. They did a really good job. Meredith Hayes, 20 kills to go along with 13 digs. It's her eighth double-double. And it seems like we always talk about her, but she's a big arm. She's a freshman and she deserves the attention that she's gotten so far. She really is. And you know, she has her moments where she has freshman mistakes, and but she's, she's doing so much for us. And teams are putting a lot of pressure on her, serving her a lot. And what I'm really proud of is that she's three passing a lot more and uh, has really worked at that part of her game and the offense will come and she's doing a great job. There's a lot of outstanding performances but we can't let you go without talking about Michelle Cooster. Seven kills, she was in on eight blocks including one solo block. How important was she tonight? Oh, fantastic. I, I, you know, you could make a point that she was our MVP for the night. She did a lot of great things and, and stepped up at crunch time a couple times when we really needed her. All right, Mike Jordan, the Aggies head coach. Congratulations on the win over the Lobos. Thanks, Kyle. Go Aggies. Taking a look at the final stats, New Mexico State finishes hitting 234 on the night, and that is 40 points better than the Aggies' season average. NMSU came in third in the whack, hitting 198, but the Aggies hit 234 tonight. And the Aggies hold the Lobos to 30 points, check it, 25 points below the Lobos season average as we welcome back in Melanie Veramontes to our broadcast. And Melanie, it was just all Aggies tonight, no doubt about it. Well, the Aggies definitely left the door open a little bit for the Lobos, but you know, you gotta feel for the Lobos. They're, they're, they're hurting. They just don't have the, the hitters that they're used to having. And I think that you have to owe a lot to Coach Nelson if they were under another another uh, coach. They may not be doing as well as they are. They're trying to pull it together. But the Aggies tonight, Meredith Hayes, Michelle Cooster, Kelsey Brennan, and Stephanie Ziegler, Kelsey Phillips in the back, all just all putting it together. If they can keep their intensity level high, I don't see how they'll have many problems for conference. So the Aggies move to 14 and four on the season. Meredith Hayes, a match high, 20 kills. Here she is on the left going over the Lobo block. She had 13 digs and was in on one block. Big number of the night, 13 Aggie blocks. And here is more Aggie action at the net. Jenna DeVries and Michelle Cooster and Meredith Hayes there down the line as the Aggies win in four sets over the University of New Mexico. So our next broadcast on Aggie Vision will be Saturday as October 4th, uh, October 15th comes around, uh, New Mexico State and Idaho. And then the next volleyball home game will be as New Mexico State welcomes Hawaii into the Pan American Center on October 12th. And it's definitely a big match, no doubt about it as the Rainbow Wahine and the New Mexico State Aggies likely will be undefeated in Western Athletic Conference action, but still a week to go. Join us for our next telecast Saturday, October 15th, when Aggie football takes on Idaho at 6 o'clock. Tonight's broadcast was a co-production of students and staff at New Mexico State University. On behalf of all the talented students on our crew, as well as Director Joe Brackman, Technical Coordinator Chris Schnurr, Melanie Veramontes, I'm Kyle Doperalski, thanking you for watching. Once again, the Aggies defeat the Lobos tonight by a score of three sets to one. Good night from Las Cruces.